In this video, we're going to look at how to animate a mouth to make it look like somebody's talking. Um, the first thing I've done is I've set up two layers here, a face layer and a mouth layer. Because the face is going to stay still and it's just the mouth that's going to move. Um, so I've made my face layer, I'm going to select my face like that, I'm going to turn it into a symbol, A8, face, like that. And then I'm going to lock that layer up so I can't break it. Now, on my mouth layer, I'm going to create several different mouth shapes. So I'm just going to draw them. The first one is going to be just a tiny thin line like that. Like that. And now, I'm going to turn that into a symbol. And I'm going to call it Closed Mouth. Now it's in my library, I can delete that and draw my next one because it stays in my library there. So my next one's going to be something like that. And I might fill that in. Like that. And then I'll make that a symbol. Call it mouth. I can't spell mouth, but there we go. Then I'll delete that one, and I'll make one more. So, pretty open, like that. Let's have a little bit of a tongue in there. Fill that tongue in. Put the rest of them open. Like that, and again we'll make that a symbol. Call it open mouth. Again, I'm having problems with my spelling today, please excuse me. <coughs> there we go. So now I've got three different symbols. What I'm going to do with my face is I'm going to take my timeline and I'm going to move this up to about 75. I'm going to press F5. And that puts my face, gives my face about three seconds worth of frames. My mouth, I haven't done anything with yet. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start with a closed mouth. So get my closed mouth and drag it onto there. Like that. And we're going to use a technique called stop motion animation. So we're not going to use any motion tweens here. We're just going to add a few frames. Add one of these keyframes with a dot in it, and then swap the symbol, swap the mouth symbol for the next one. So let's add, say, six frames, press F6 this time, which gives us another keyframe with a dot in it. So my closed mouth is going to go from frame one to five. I'm going to click in frame six, and I'm going to delete my symbol. I'm going to put another one in, so let's go to open mouth. Like that. I'm going to have another, I don't know, five or six frames. F6 again. I'm going to delete open mouth. And I think I'm going to go back to closed mouth. There, only for a couple of frames though this time. So F6, just 16 or so. You don't have to do it exactly as I do it, but the fewer frames you use, the less time it spends on screen. Delete closed mouth in that last frame, last keyframe. Let's go to the ooh mouth for a few frames. F6 again. Delete. Let's go back to open mouth for a few frames. Like that. Add a few more frames in. And then, just to show you how it works quickly without doing the whole of this, I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to go back to closed mouth, like so. And I'm just going to pop that F5 all the way up to the end. So you'll see that closed mouth, open mouth, closed mouth, ooh mouth, open mouth, closed mouth. So if I play it, it starts to look like the mouth is actually animating and changing because I'm using stop motion animation. Now, you've got a bit more time to play with your timings and get your mouth right. Your challenge then 
rather than have your eyes as part of your face, is to see if you could have the eyes on different layers, and that way you can make them look left, right, up, down. You can change the mouth as it animates. You can have the eyebrows go up or down for happy or sad or angry expressions. You can have, but for every different element, for each eye, for each eyebrow, for each mouth, you need a new layer. So this is why it takes a bit of time, and this is why we've left it to last in our videos. Okay, off you go.